I mean, I guess, you know, as long as they're selling, I guess it's all that matters. But, you know, to me, I don't get it. I don't get the attraction. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll do that in the challenge in a minute. But, I mean, these things are okay. I'll say okay. They're awesome. But, you know, I did have fun goofing around with those, though. <laughs> Some people take them out of the box. Other people like to leave them in the box. Um, leave well, them in the box adds value. We went to the store to buy one of the boxes damaged, and the seller actually gave us a discount, knowing the value in the box is more than the value outside the box. No, but these are meant to stay in the box anyway. But some people have taken them out of the box, though. I've seen some collectors on Facebook who have them all stacked up on a shelf outside of the box. You know what I'm going to need if there was a Gaston one that was the head? And that's surprising that they didn't make a Gaston one for this series. Like a LeFou and a Gaston, the other big major characters in the movie. Yeah, I was really I mean, surprised in her dad. They should have like, made the best character in the movie, Gaston. Yeah, so they just <laughs> really focused on Belle and the castle characters, not, you know, Maurice, her dad, or Gaston, or LeFou. Which is surprising. Uh, they should have made the best character, Gaston. All the rest of these characters are lame. What other series do we have? I was surprised that they didn't have, like, oh, the Sailor Moon series. Remember, they didn't have her daughter. I was really oh. surprised they didn't have her daughter in the pop vinyl figures. Maybe they will eventually. Yeah, but it won't be a part of that series. That series is done. I'll have to start in a new series. Yeah, but dang it, you think about it, Sailor Moon was out years and years ago. Which, yes, but it's know. coming back now. That, it's not in America, they're just showing it in Japan, the crystal one. Yes, but Japanese anime is so popular now. Yeah, that's true. That's why I was surprised they didn't have her daughter, because I, I, I mean, just like the Nickelodeon series coming out, they're not doing all the Rugrat characters. They're only doing Reptar, Chucky, and Tommy. Not oh. Phil and Lil, not Angelica, not Susie. Oh, well, that's crazy. No, I know. So some of these series I don't completely agree with. Like this Beauty and the Beast movie, live action movie series. They don't have Gaston and Maurice and LeFou. Those are some of the other main characters. Who cares about the other one? Gaston. Which, by the way, we'll be seeing that movie. I'll probably post Sunday. a, a non-spoiler written review. Yeah, Sunday after we go to a birthday party. We also, Saturday, my sister's doing a gender reveal party as well. And so I don't know if I have another niece or nephew on the way. Uh, yeah, I guess my wife pretty much said all this good stuff about pop vinyls. <laughs> They're amazing. They're for the people who love to collect something that from a childhood memory or from something that they really enjoy now. Like this new Beauty and the Beast movie. I'm very excited. Um, there are multiple bells which are really hard to find. My daughter has um, Belle with the rose. Um, Belle with her castle ground. And I think she has Belle with the rose. So we still need um, Celebration Belle. Uh, Garden Road Bell and the Village Bell. I think those are going to be the harder ones to find. But that's not Bell. That's her name. Duck Bell! Oh, Michael, you're a mess. Alright, now for some shout outs. First off, a special birthday shout out to my friend Matt Taylor's daughter, Addie. Um, happy birthday, Addie. See you Sunday. Um, also, Doing some personal shout outs as usual <laughs> first. Then I'll shout out because I think I did Cinema Snob and Nostalgia Creek last week. Was it? Was it? Did I do a shout out to Cinema Snob and Nostalgia Creek? I don't know, Michael. That was yesterday. I forgot everything. But wasn't that. yesterday. It was last week. Well, I don't have time preferences in my mind. Uh, well, uh, if I didn't, I'll probably give them one. Uh, Alright, so shout out to my daughter, Elizabeth. Lizzie Sky, and like I said, this is her pop vinyls, except for this one and the Harry Potter ones. Harry Potter ones are mine. Um, shout out to my son, James the Black Ops Killer. Who has lots of pop vinyls too. He's got lots of pop vinyls too, which I'm shocked he likes them. He's like 
Um, shout out to my nephew, uh, Dylan, like a boss bro. Shout out to Jacob, uh, Elite Fest 3. I think that's how you say it. Um, they bought just recently, that, well, my daughter has it. Yeah, that's my son. But everyone else just recently did videos that I just give a shout out to. Now to some other shout outs. Uh, YouTube shout outs. I'm going to give a shout out to Zach Cox. He's a uh, another GTA community guy. So that's why I'm shouting him out. Because you know how much I love GTA. But <laughs> um, the Dark Myth Hunters, they go and they debunk a lot of myths and that for GTAs. Or they prove them. For GTA games, it doesn't matter past, present, future, whatever. Um, let's see who else. Uh, did I do trippy commentaries last week? Yes, I do remember you doing that one. Okay. Um, shout out to Nostalgia Critic and Cinema Snob. They do funny, hilarious YouTube videos. Huh? These magical pop vinyl ones. Oh. You really want me to get those out? Will you get around and put them in the camera? Well, I'm going shallow. Um. Let's see. Yeah, there's some more of those things. These are the mystery package ones. Um. Let's see. Also, you know what? Let me give a shout out to Ari Jones. Uh -huh. What is that? Girls on the Run program? Ari Jones, yes. God dang it. Ari Jones, Girls on the Run program. They're going to be sponsoring the Special Olympics this year. No, that's a Color Run. The Color Run, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Ari Jones and Collins, Girls on the Run is a part of it as well. Voldemort. Tom Riddle. Yeah, so shout out to them for uh, sponsoring the Special Olympics because the Special Olympics have been around for a while. By the way, I'm also going to give a shout out to the Special Olympics because they, for years and years and years and years, they've helped a lot of kids that have had disabilities be more active in sports and all that. Or so. special needs, not just disabilities. Or special needs, yeah, you know what I mean. But, um, I guess that'll do it. The next toy related video I'll be doing. Probably be a while, but I will be doing some reviews of my son's, I guess, new wrestling figures and that. Maybe some of his new NECA figures that he got over the holiday season that I said I would get to eventually. Um, and then next, and then the next toy talk will be a McFarlane Toys one. So, um, Please like this video, leave us a comment, subscribe for more. I would really appreciate it if you comment or, you know, liked or subscribed. It helps my channel grow and it helps get my opinion out to a lot of other people who probably may have the same opinion on me or may not have the same opinion on me. Um, also, uh, follow me on my Facebook fan page, Mr. Hornsby 83 uh, Topics, follow me on Twitter. At Mr. Hornsby 83 I just did a written review on my fan page of last night's episode of Legion, which I should have talked about in my TV talk last week. But, um, and I'll be doing, I mean, I like this movie, but that's the closest thing to a basketball movie I got. So, I'll be doing a Cobra Facebook Live tomorrow. Um, then I'll have one more, which will probably be Cliffhanger, and then that'll end my Stallone run, and then I'll be doing some more playthroughs and that on YouTube, Facebook, all that. Um, so, till the next video, and Ron Weasley's fine working with these pieces. Really wanting to kill him. I'll do it, peace out.